Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev Sackbits. Today we're taking a look at a thermal camera that attaches to an iPhone. Can you imagine? The Fleur 1, this is an older version, but still very nice. It works very nice. You just have to have an older phone or you have to shave the sides off of here and then you can put it in a newer phone. This unit brags two separate cameras. One of them is actually, um, I keep wanting to say infrared, but uh, it's not infrared uh, it is thermal imaging and we have two cameras on it one to get an idea standardly of uh, one standard camera and one uh, thermal image so we here we got our old phone this is the uh, this is the only version I could find that takes a, a 5s or a 5 iPhone of course unless once again you want to carve off the sides and I am 99% sure that it would work fine anyways you mount it on there and if you do it wrong, this is what's going to happen. You're going to have a line on the front. So in order to make it better, what you got to do, just pull it down for a second and let it recalibrate. And once you bring it back up again, there, we no longer have that issue. So unbelievably cool. Look at that. It's predator vision. That's insane. That's just crazy. That's just crazy. So you see how you have the outline of the things you're looking at. And then, of course, you get Predator version. We get uh, about a second leg, but uh, that is just how it goes. We can turn the light on on here. We see the battery. We have, uh, oh, yeah, we can do time lapse. Very nice, very nice. So pretty cool. So here's a quick test video. You can see my wife always happy about uh, getting her video taken. And here's Aggies, and there's Chaco. They're playing the floor is lava, jumping from book to book. You can see the books, you can see them. You can make them all out pretty nice. Not bad for a $500 piece of hardware, right? Now, here's my car after driving to the cemetery for a special Spooktober special. Here we have the headstones. You can see the headstones are uh, warmer than the ground because they soak up a lot of sunlight but still it's pretty interesting it's also interesting how the trees light up too i didn't realize there was actually any warmth in the trees however the ground just looks just looks very cold now i'm, I'm getting an incorrect reading here there is no way that these things are sitting at minus six and the floor is my, minus 12 because uh, if it was minus 12 it would be frosting so i'm not sure if i would trust this so much outside as much as inside here's a sample of my puppy dog being a mook trying to get some chicken man if i leave chicken on the counter this dog will beg there all night he will wait there until we're, we've been in bed for about a half an hour no, no no more like an hour and a half and then he'll decide to come to bed yep yep don't worry puppy dog got some treats this dog is a messy eater. This is why we can't have nice things. So here's what it looks like when there's no light for the secondary real camera. So when you get the real camera, you get an outline next to the, uh, the heat vision, basically. Next to the thermal. But this is just the thermal with, with uh, no standard. So you see blurs. You see blurs. You still kind of get the idea. And I'm still blown away and interested by the fact that the more grass there is, like, so, so that's a lot of grass. Uh, there's a field in my backyard. And the field, the long grass, it actually gives off some heat. My dog gives off some heat. But standard grass on the ground right here does not give off heat. And that's, uh, that's uh, kind of interesting, I think. Okay, this one is upstairs on my bed on the quilt. I got the lights off tormenting my wife here and this is so cool this is so cool good use for a $500 piece of technology right I can't get my head around this it can sense the heat off of a reflection of a mirror I can't get over that that's crazy and of course we got to try the sink What's really crazy is you can see the, the hot water pipe, the cold water pipe, both equally well represented. I could definitely see an artist get some trippy uh, art out of something like this. And this is just the sink in the basement, right? 
And once again, what is really cool is you get to trace your pipes back. And then right about here, they get insulated. So you don't see them quite as much. And yeah, there's a lot of practical application that you could use for this. Nature shots, however, might not be the best idea. I like to get really nice panoramic video of uh, particular spots in nature in the middle of nowhere. But what's kind of interesting is that everything lights up with, with, with heat, with, uh, with energy, with light. As you can see, the, the higher you look up, the more sky you see, the darker things get. And if you were to go down there and cut that grass, it would get dark. But uh, I never realized how much heat that trees and long grass will put off. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me for today. Once again, I'm Neff from Neff's Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. And I'll probably be back with more, honestly, practical application. But I just want to make a first video on this because this technology is so freaking cool. This is the coolest thing, I swear. Anyways, have a good one, folks, and take care of each other.